Welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually going to be fishing two lakes. We're also going to do a catch and cook. The first lake we're going to fish is a little hidden lake that I've never fished before. It is downstream of the bigger lake that we're going to fish later in the afternoon. So our mission at the little lake is to see if we can catch enough brook trout to make a little lunch. I actually forgot the bacon because I was going to do bacon wrapped brook trout. So you're just going to have to imagine the bacon, but uh, it's going to be delicious. I'm really excited about this first little lake because I've never fished it before. Here's what we're gonna be throwing around today. Another little pink jig. This time we're gonna do pink on pink so the even the head is actually pink itself. And uh, I think we're just gonna smash. And on that note, here's gonna be cast one. There's a big pool of them right behind the camera that I'm talking to that are just popping. Yep, there he is. Instant. First cast. Ooh, wow. Oh my gosh. They're actually big sized brook trout in here. Well, that is a surprise because I was genuinely not expecting any kind of decent sized brook trout. That is pretty much gonna be, I might keep two today, um, especially of this size. All right, look at that beautiful thing. Holy cow, I haven't caught any brook trout like that have been this red uh, all summer, all winter for like a long time. I mean, that is just like one of the most beautiful looking brook trout and that'll be probably half of my lunch today so we're gonna get this one on the stringer and then get right back out there and like I said we should just crush them today this is like a hidden little lake uh, not a lot of pressure as far as I can tell it's kind of off trail and uh, the water has just been completely on fire all right let's see if we can do two casts in a row now No luck on cast number two, that's all right. Cast number three, a little bit better further of a cast. Cast number four. Yep. All right, 50% hit rate so far. Dang, these feel good. I mean, they are not bad trout. Oh yeah, solid fish. Solid fish. Jeez, very healthy, very healthy fishery. Compared to the lake next door, which I have fished this last summer, and uh, I will put up some photos right now up on the screen while I get this fish unhooked of those fish that I caught last summer out of the lake next door. This is a much better population as far as uh, <clears throat> size and health, it seems, than the lake next door. But that's gonna be our lunch. So we are on the board here uh, yet again. Oh, and he got away. So that one won't be our lunch, but we will get another one just as quickly as we got that one. Beautiful fish. Again, 50, about a 50% hit rate so far. We've got four casts. This is cast number five. Casting right into a pool of them right now that are just popping on the water. Now this little tiny lake. right in front of me. See if I can get one to bite right at the boat. Just right in front of me. There's a ton of them. No takers. No takers. Oh, there was one following it. I could see him. They're just right, they're like feet away from me. Just popping on the water, eating bugs. Ch 
Compton. Number six. Let's see if we can keep the 50% catch rate going. Yep, right there, right at the boat. 50% hit rate. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can land this one. Ooh, he almost looks foul hooked. I don't think he is. Yes. Got him, successful net job. Dang, nice and healthy. Nice and healthy looking brook trout. Right in the corner of the mouth here. Perfect. All right, we have got our little lunch here. I'm gonna get this one quickly on the stringer before I uh, lose it again. And then we're gonna pound some more brook trout. Okay, this will be cast number seven. There was a bite. Missed him. There he is. Now he gobbled it. <laughs> They're feisty. They're feisty out of this lake. Holy cow. They are spun up. Wow. They are spun up. Let's see if I can just land him by hand. Yeah, way better. Oh my gosh. They're so red on the bottom. Crazy. It's crazy how red they are on the bottom. Look at this fish. Look at that red. Jeez, that is really, really gorgeous. Okay, that is four fish out of seven casts, I believe. This will be cast number eight. Yep, there was a bite right there. There he is. <laughs> you just watched my line just completely go the other way. Okay, that's five five fish, eight casts. Incredible. What a nice little fishery. All right, just like this one, I'm gonna see since we're releasing now. Let's see if I can get uh, this one unhooked by hand. My hand's wet. Right in the corner of the mouth. Oh man, they're so ha they're so healthy. They're so healthy. They're so pretty. What a beat down so far. Jeez. Another beautiful little brook trout here. Look at that. Give you guys a trying to decent look so he doesn't flop out. Plastic is already almost done. It does not take long for them to rip these up if they are aggressive. And they are very aggressive in this lake right now. Number nine. Five fish, two on the stringer, three released, one inadvertently. Yep, there he is. Must not be big. Coming right towards me. Oh, now he's fighting. Now he saw me. There he goes. Come on, buddy. Ooh, that one's long. 
That one's a long one. Jeez, that feels like the longest of the day. I'm just gonna give you guys a look at maybe how long this one is. Oh, not bad. As you can see, probably uh, almost 12 inches. That's not bad. Let's get this one back. Come on, buddy, I'll let you go. See ya. Okay, 10 casts. This will be the 10th cast. Let's see if we can't get, so that was six, seven, seven fish here. Oh, there was a bite too. Oh, there he is again. Shoot, missed him. There he is. Oh, he came off. Shoot. Almost would have been seven and 10. Aggressive. All right, let's see if we can't get, let's turn the tube a little bit here. Let's get a 7-11. Yep. Oh, missed him. Right at the boat. And he screwed up the plastic. There we go. Oh, come on. There he came back. Boy, these ones are really good fighters. Right in the nose. Right in the nose, buddy. Perfect hook set. Oof, that one's kind of a nice one. Jeez. Some of these males are pretty fat. Wow, that one's chunky. Look how chunky this one is. Boy, some of these are nice and nice and nice and nice and chunky. I mean, they are solid, solid fish. Let's get this one back. What is that, nine fish? Something like that? I don't know. This is when I start to lose count. Usually when I get up to on these kind of lakes where I get up to seven, eight fish, something like that, and then start to lose count. Don't even pay attention anymore. Just start catching, just keep catching fish. There he is. <laughs> Ooh, great fighters. Really good fighters today. Oh yeah, another solid one. This one's pretty. Holy cow, this one's gorgeous. Oh man, what a pretty fish. What a pretty, pretty fish. Really good looking fish. That is a pretty brook trout. I highly, highly doubt that they're gonna get over 12 inches out of this lake, but I am not complaining because these are just some beautiful, Beautiful brook trout, great fighters. Let's get this one back. See hey, you, bud. You can just flop out of here. I don't care. Flop away. Flop, flop, flop.
Whoa, that was cool. Holy cow, right at the surface. <clears throat> that was aggressive. Jeez. There we go. Oof, they are feisty. Feisty. Oof, what a pretty one. Now that one might be the biggest of the day. That one just might very well be the biggest of the day. He is fat. Jeez, fat dudes. Real fat. Oh yeah, that one's a fat one. Hand wet. Fat, fat, fat one. Let's get a quick measure on this one just to see how fat he is. Yeah, that one is the biggest of the day because that one is over 12 inches, pushing 13. I am just kind of blown away that they're this good out of this uh, little tiny lake. It's really incredible, so. Let's get this one back here. There it is. This one does not feel that big. way out there. Yeah, about the average size you've been catching. Decent. Settle down, dude. Settle down. We'll get you off. We'll get you off. We'll get you off. Perfect hook set in the nose. We will give the folks at home one quick look. And then we will get you back on your way, little beautiful brook trout. me. Wait till he sees the boat, then he's gonna turn. He's gonna start fighting. Yeah! <laughs> you see that splash? <laughs> Crazy guy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. You're getting everything wet. You're getting everything wet, dude. You're getting everything wet. You're getting all tangled up. You're getting crazy. We will get you back. No problem. See you, bud. There we go. That one feels nice. Good fighter. Good fighter. Good fighter. Come on, bud. Don't get tangled up. Don't get tangled up. Don't get tangled up. Don't get tangled up. Good fighter. He popped off. To give the good people at home a quick look at you, Mr. Beautiful Brook Trout. Up, oh, and we won't. You will just flop back to your house. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. That was a great bite. That was a great bite. Whoa, he jumped right into the boat. Look at that. Settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down. We'll get you off, we'll get you off, we'll get you off, we'll get you off. Yep, we'll get you off. You'll be good. You will be good. We will get you off, little brook trout. Not a big one, but kind of a good one to end the fishing on this lake. So it's I've been fishing it for about an hour, hour and a half here, and uh, we did pretty good. We caught probably, I don't know, 13, 14, 15 fish, something like that. I'd have to do a count once I review the footage. Got some great camera shots, and we got lunch. And uh, so what I'm going to do now, because I kind of pounded them on this lake. First, I'm going to let this one go, actually. And then we're gonna head over to the big lake and um, we're gonna do mostly keep over there until we have our uh, possession limit filled up. And um, <clears throat> hopefully that lake actually, the big one, had, the last time I fished it, it had, I, what I found is that it had a lot of little brook trout. And so it'd be nice if we can get like uh, a lot of those under eight, eight and under inches on the uh on the stringer so if you're watching this video the next thing you're going to see is us doing our little lunch and if you're watching the video after that you'll see me on the big lake hopefully pounding more brook trout well as you can see we are back on the little lake we actually gave the big lake a good 45 minutes of fishing and i didn't even get one bite i fished the, the perfectly deep part that part that i had scattered out before this little trip and uh, I'd ice fish that lake actually on my birthday. So if you go back and look at the videos <clears throat> on this channel, you'll see that was my birthday fishing trip. Trip. I did okay on that fishing trip. I figured there would I would do okay, you know, on this one, but nothing. So we're back on the little lake. We're gonna finish out and round out our limit here, and then we're gonna do a little catch and cook on the shore, a little shore lunch for you. Like we're perfectly positioned here. Casting right into a bunch of them that are just popping on the surface. See, look at them. Just right in front of me. No takers. Oh, there we go. Yep, there's one. Right at the end. There you go, you are coming home with us for sure. Mister, don't get tangled up. Don't do that. Ooh, he gobbled it. Gobbled it nicely, look at that. Huh, right in there. This one's coming home with us. I'm off. There we go. Look at that kiped out fish too. How he's grooved. He's look how he's made a groove in his uh, his jaw like that with his nose. How cool is that, right? Jeez, they're just a ton of them right by me. There we go, right at the boat. Sweet. This is about the size we want to keep for sure. Just fat, fat little brook trout. 
right around the 12 inch mark look at that perfect perfect hook set in the nose beautiful beautiful fish and uh, that will that will do it for our daily limit cool we got our daily limit here boy that only took me 15 minutes on this lake much much better action over at this lake so we're just going to try to catch a couple more here as i paddle back to camp do a little catch and cook and head back home there's another one <laughs> just instantly just instantly such a better fishery over here Perfect, perfect hook set. That one feels really good. Ooh, that one feels like it has some weight. Either it's hooked really foul or this is a pretty big fish. Oh, he's hooked foul. That's why. Look at that. Hooked him foul. I have to net this one. That's why it was such a good fish. Sorry, guy. I did not mean to hook you in the tail. I'm sorry. Apologize. You were an excellent fight. I thought you were way bigger. Look at that. Hooked in the tail. Not my intention to hook him in the tail, obviously, and sometimes it just happens and oh well. But uh, let's get him quickly unhooked. Yeah, not too bad. Get this one back. Look at those. Look at that awesome jaw. Sick colors, right? Sorry about the foul hook, bud, but We'll get you back real quick here. See ya. Like you saw, the biggest one that was probably pulled out of here by us today was about 13 inches. So, man, I really thought that was a hope. Oh, right? Instant, instant drop, instant fish. I'm just still trying to make my way back to camp here. And, man, I bet we've caught over 20 fish for sure. Still no cutties, just little brookies. Come here, dude. Oh, popped right off. Ooh, it's starting to rain. That's no good. That is not what we want at all. As we try to get back to camp, is rain. The hike down is maybe only like a mile. To where my bike is and then we're from where my bike is maybe a half a mile to where my car is so it's not too bad the only thing i'm worried about really is when i drove up here i only had like uh 10 it said it said on my i have a rental and they're like oh you only got 10 miles left of gas I'm like, Ew. but we are going downhill so i'm gonna coast a lot of the way downhill there's another fish again this one feels good Oh man, they have some, they got some muscle to them out of this lake. As it starts to rain on me. That was pretty big. Ah, settle down, buddy. Can we just grab you real quick here? There, holy cow, that one's fat. Jeez, what a healthy, healthy fishery. Look at that thing. Look how fat that is. Look how fat that fish is. Fat, dude. Fat, fat, fat dude. See you, buddy. Oh no, as you can see, it is starting to actually downpour here pretty quick, pretty hard. So I don't think we're gonna do the catch and cook. I'm sorry if you watched all the way through for the catch and cook and we didn't do one today. 
We didn't even have bacon, so if you like this episode, please leave me a positive comment, share with a friend, and I will see you next adventure.